Hey everybody, it's Stefan with SNS Diving, and uh, recently I was watching some videos on uh, some people showing off their dive lockers, and thought mine was kind of unique, and thought I'd uh, give kind of a tour and all the stuff that I keep in my dive locker. Um, quick backstory on it, and sorry if uh, it's windy out on the vid recording, it's kind of windy today, um, but uh, quick backstory on it is I... Uh, lived at one house and kind of set up a dive locker there in a heated garage that I had and then we moved and I set it up in a heated shop and then I quit heating that shop and so during the winter I'd have to move it into the basement and got tired of moving it around so I, uh, the wife talked about moving again and I decided if I was going to set up a permanent dive locker I was going to make it semi-mobile so I went ahead and got myself a shipping container put some walls inside of it and divided it off a little bit and uh, that became my dive locker. Um, I am a scuba diving an instructor but I don't use I don't have a shop I'm an independent instructor I uh, I don't teach out of it I guess I, I would teach or I do teach a uh, gas blender and maybe an nitrox class or two but uh, I, it's not not for teaching it's just my own personal dive locker and so, uh, so yeah figured we'll Take a quick uh, look at it. Um, down here at the end is where the uh, false wall is. It's set in two feet back so that uh, I can put in, I put a mini split heat pump in so that uh, I can heat the rooms that I got. And it is uh, set back far enough so that I can actually shut the doors of the shipping container if I want to move it. So I don't got to worry about anything getting damaged on it. So first door you come into from this end is my washroom and dry room. So here I got three sinks. Uh, first one I use for soaping everything. Uh, second is for rinse and third is I like to use uh, the McNett uh, enzyme. If I'm not washing something that I need the enzyme, it just becomes a second wash or rinse tub. Um, got drying racks above. Um, some extra stuff for all of my uh, boot dryers and stuff that I use for glove drying and things like that. Up top, got a drying rack going down the middle of it that uh, that I hang all the wet gear from. Um, this uh, room, I did build a raised floor in it, so it does, um, I could build a taper to it, so it drains down to a drain in the middle that I plumbed out to the outside. Uh, this right here is a uh, PVC dry suit drying rack that I built. Um, anytime I get a full flood on a dry suit, or if I decide that I want to clean out the inside because it's getting kind of funky inside, um, I wash the inside and then I put it on this to permanently dry. Otherwise, I normally just whenever I dry it, I use this uh, UK um, forced air uh, rack for drying. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I got water plumbed in. I don't have uh, a water heater in here yet. Baby steps. Um, I do have a water filter system that I use for whenever I do O2 cleaning and stuff like that. So then into the next room is my storage room. And so here in the storage room, uh, first thing I'll just go around the room is some of my regulators. This isn't all of them. I got others in bags and still on cylinders and stuff. Um, a lot of them are uh, hog regulators. I'm a fan of hog mainly because uh, you can service them yourself if you uh, take a course to do so, um, which I did. So it's kind of nice to be able to service your own rigs. Um, Deep Six also has the same thing. And I know that uh, Dive Right In Scuba has their own personal little brand they're working on getting a course set up if they don't already have one. But I like Hog. Works great. Nothing against any of the others. I just happened to come across Hog first and, uh, and liked them. Um... Down here, I have my 
multiple BCDs. I got my side mount, my uh, one that I use for teaching. It has all the releases and stuff like that. I use it for teaching open water and rescue diving. Then I have my um, back plate that is a titanium back plate, and it makes it real nice and light for traveling. And then I have my uh, stainless steel back plate for whenever I dry suit dive. Uh, going through my wetsuits, um, I got a 7 mil that I've only dove like twice, just because I don't like 7 mils. Uh, up here in the front is the one that I use for um, teaching in pools. As you can see, it's very faded, so I just donate one to be ruined by a pool. Um, the 3 mil shorty that I got back here is the next one that I'm going to ruin, just because I don't... Um, really like it so once this one finishes getting more out I'll switch to it um, I got a 5 mil and then uh, I got a thermocline um, two-piece one that uh, is also kind of why I don't need a 3 mil at all because that works good enough um, going over here I got my dry suits uh, first one is a Hollis DX 300X I love this dry suit this is my go-to dry suit I use it for everything uh, back here is a scuba pro dry suit that uh, mainly my son uses. Um, it fits me as well. It's a little big on him, but uh, it's a backup for me. Works for him, and um, yeah, it also makes a good teaching aid for me because the uh, Hollis has silicone seals everywhere that are usually replaceable, and socks, and the knee, and it's trilaminate. The uh, Scuba Pro is a neoprene with um, latex seals and boots. So it's a good, uh, and it's a back zip. The uh, Hollis is a front zip. So it's a good teaching aid to be able to show all the different varieties of, uh, of the dry suits. Um, then I got my son's dry suit, or wetsuit, sorry. A um, couple of coats for whenever it's cold. This room isn't actually complete yet. Um, I got a lot of shelving to still put up and things like that. So we'll uh, go to over here. Um, I keep all of my cameras in here. Um, I only have a underwater housing for one of them. Well, two if you count a GoPro. But uh, I keep everything in here just so that all my lenses and stuff are together. Uh, I have my first aid kit and... O2 and a uh, AED that uh, I keep and then this is extra first aid the orange ones extra first aid stuff more uh, kind of trauma kit going down here's all my uh, extra um, wings that are of various things this one's a one for a rebreather doubles several single wings um, going down, I have my Thermolution heated vest. Um, can't say enough good things about that. It is, uh, nice. It can be used in a wetsuit or a dry suit. Uh, it's got a remote control for controlling the heat. Um, got a bag with all my undergarments in it. They're Hollis undergarments. Uh, going over here, I have my, uh, Kiss Classic Rebreather. Um, this was my first rebreather. Love it. Um, then I uh, started cave diving and wanted to do a, uh, a side mount rebreather. So I got the Kiss Sidekick. Um, right now the head isn't here. It's at Kiss getting some updates done to it. But uh, so my Kiss Sidekick. Uh, extra masks then back to this wall is all my extra stuff that doesn't go on the other wall obviously um, got some extra back plates all of my fins that uh, most of them I don't even use anymore uh, lift bags reels DSMB's computers lights uh, the masks I use often. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this room. So then, going into this room, this is kind of my office area for uh, for teaching. Um, it uh, got an old drafting table desk, uh, pretty weathered, but works good for what I get need, and it's a big table. Um, so it's a little overkill for being a drafting table, but it makes it so that I can crank it up, and it's a standing desk then. So it's kind of nice having that. Uh, then I got a workbench with the uh, tools for working on uh, rebuilding regulators. Um, storage up above, I got all my Pelican cases and um, some totes that have parts to uh, assembling back plates, O2 cleaning stuff for cylinders, uh, my first aid dummies, and some parts for my air compressor. So my big air compressor is this one here. It fills up my bank system and it can also do nitrox. I have a tank here with O2 and another tank with helium. Um, I can, with that O2, either continuous flow blend with my compressor, or I can use, um, it's a knockoff Haskell pump, it's a U-Sun, but uh, it's a Chinese knockoff, but it works good for me. I'm just a little shop, and uh, pretty much I just do it for myself. So, uh, for teaching and for myself is about all I really use it for. So it works good for, uh, for doing partial pressure blending for oxygen and helium. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions or, uh, you want me to review a certain item you saw in here or wonder how I built something, um, just let me know. I will gladly make a video on that. Um, have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.